when you watch the whole area, Maracas, um, you watch places like Santa Cruz, like Brasso Seco Paria, like Cora, and all those places where our ancestors walked. The whole set of hills, all those hills are interwoven with traces. There has been a continued presence of indigenous people in Trinidad and Tobago for hundreds of years. Indigenous people traveled from Central and South America and populated these islands long before Columbus. And even after Columbus arrived, there were continuous waves of migration. Although in our history books, these indigenous people were generally referred to as Caribs and Arawaks. The fact is that there were several tribes. Indigenous people believe that we are connected to nature. We are connected to the land that we inhabit. So the forest is a temple. Waterfalls, mountain tops, rivers, oceans. These are all places where we give thanks for our presence and for our connectedness because we can't exist without each other. And so when we think of sacred spaces, we think of the land. The land is a sacred space. All of the land is a sacred space. And our ancestors thought this as well. And so at Corita, we have a rock where there are petroglyphs. And we believe that these are messages from our ancestors. First of all, the rock was mentioned to me by an old man many, many years ago. I never really paid any interest in going to find it or anything like that. And then some years back, we went up looking for the rock. The face of the rock is facing south. And if you are facing it, on the left-hand corner, there is the carving of like a deer with, with horn. And after that, moving across the face of the rock, there are like three faces. There is a certain energy in the, in the, in the area, a certain energy. And it is our belief, after doing ceremonies on our spirituality, that the reason that rock was chosen in that area, it is because the high concentration of energy that one feels there. 